everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be blinging this mouse and i'm just taking out the back of it so i'm going to show you what i'm going to use i'm going to use liquid fusion i'm going to put it in a syringe and i honestly filled it up like halfway but i only used a quarter of it um i have some alcohol prep wipes and some sandpaper and of course my wax pen so i'm going to start by sanding it to take off the shine and you want to do this so it can the glue can have something to grip to and last you can use different types of glue like super tight i think somebody used um a lot of the crystal ninja glues they work really well too but i just use liquid fusion just let it cure for a full 24 hours and you should be fine like i'm using <laughs> my mouse right now to edit so yeah so just make sure you sand it really good and then after we're going to use that alcohol wipe to get rid of any dirt debris and just give it a good little once over and then i'm just going to take a napkin and wipe off that extra alcohol so this is the you know the little boring part and then pretty much right after just let it dry off just a little and we can get into flinging it so the purpose of using the syringe is to get a more controlled area of glue and see i squirted out a little bit too much but i can just use the tip of the syringe to spread out the glue so i am using some crystals i got off of amazon these are glass rhinestones from jolin i'll link them in the description box below they are crystal ab size ss 10s these are really really beautiful and I use resin stones and glass. So lots of crystals are good too. They're just, you know, a little bit more on the suspensive side, but these are a close second to the Swarovski crystals. So, um, I think the pack I bought was, it came with 2,880 crystals and I used pretty much the whole thing like I had some extras but I think I only paid like eight dollars eight ninety nine for the pack and it was free shipping so you just start by placing them one by one and here you can see me doing that um and you're just gonna go in and take your time and place them I did the scatter method to have it a nice fill well I guess you call it sprinkle fill <laughs> I did a sprinkle fill so I wouldn't really see so you wouldn't really see any of the base and it I chose the Crystal AB on silver because it just makes it really pop in my opinion. Of course, you can use whatever color you want. If you have a certain color mouse, you can either paint it to get the color you want to go with it. Or, of course, you know, you can just, you can use the Sharpie method too. And I bought, I specifically bought silver because that's what I wanted. So if you do paint it, you know, just sand it, paint it. And, you know seal it and then you, you're good to go so I changed my lighting so you can see a little better so this is me getting into it and the reason you want to use glue control here is because you don't want the glue to get into your mouse and the wonderful thing about liquid fusion is it gives you a lot of work time so I would say like on average I get about five minutes before that glue gets really tacky and you don't want to move it after that so that's why I chose liquid fusion because I like to move my stones around to make them fit even better and you know I just wiped out the little extra glue on the side so and you just keep going in and I like to work from the inside out and like I said just use the tip of the needle to spread out that glue to give you a nice even layer because if you have too much buildup the product is going to get onto your stones and they're going to get muddy and clouded and they're just going to lose some of that sparkle. And I know a lot of people were, <laughs> they think that this is uncomfortable. Like I posted a reel on my Instagram and they're like, um, I bet that's uncomfortable. I love my mouse. <laughs> But I again, I am extra. I like the way it feels. It doesn't hurt, but I like a good textile feature, I guess. And that's the wonderful thing about blinging something is you get a beautiful image to look at and you get a nice feel to it. Like I'm pretty sure if you use like the spiky stones, it would hurt, you know, like a stud, it would hurt. I would suggest not doing that. And 
yeah like i want to say this whole process took me about an hour from start to finish um i probably like refilled my little sorting tray three or four times four times i think i used two each time and i refilled four times um it is a little bit of a process. If you would like to speed up that process, you can use a larger stone. I just used the small ones because I felt like it had a nice look to it. So, it's all personal preference. You can do whatever you like. There's an, oh, <laughs> that sounded very, very, anyway, you can use whatever preference you like. If you want a bigger stone, you know, you can always go with like the, it says 20. I feel like that would be like a, a good size. Not 20. I'm sorry. 16. It says 16. That would be a good size for this. The 20 might be a little bit too big, but you know, maybe a 16 or even a 12, a 12 or a 16. It'll be a little bigger. So you'll go a little faster. You know, just always consider that look that you're about to you, the look you're going for. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video because I'm pretty sure y'all get the gist of it. So I'm going to speed it up so I can go by a little faster.